Nokia, Siemens, Poland, Nero, Argentina, Pops, Ketchko. Well, Hong Kong Pen decided they want to start the near side of the course as we look down. Martina. Anna. So of course for Anna Naro. Second match in the overall tie. She played women's singles. She's only had one match rest while the men's singles was in progress. There she is, a 22 year old. And down in the women's singles to Chelsea Car. And there we go. There's the entire matchup. Hong Kong represented by Si Ying Siup and Poon Lok Yan. Anna Narel and Martina Pops catch goal. Brand no. new pairing, as you can see. Therefore, they don't have a world ranking as yet. Years of age. Oh! As indeed one of the two Hong Kong players. World ranking of 14, up one place since last week. And positive win loss record for the year. And that translates into reaching the final of the New Zealand International Challenge. A couple of semi-finals as well. I was very impressed with them in the Indian Super Series event. First ever se semi-final for the Super Series event. And lost out to number two seeds Fuji and Kakiwa from Japan in three games in an hour and one minute. And that was in India. That was very impressive indeed. Polish pair played against Ukraine. And on my left, Poland, represented by NNRL Martina Papaziko. Hong Kong, China to serve. Lokian Pun to NNRL Lawal. Battle of the youngsters on this player on court. 22 year old Hannah Mara. And this little player is just 19. Service over. One out. But Morton, I, I know you weren't actually in India for the Super Series event, but for this Hong Kong pair to have reached the semi final, Two, one. only losing out to the number two seeds. Zuki Fuji and Rekha Kikiwa in three tough games. I was very, very impressed with that performance all round. 
Yeah, there's there's no doubt that the, the Hong Kong pair is 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 a solid pair, despite the fact that they are not uh, that old. You can, it's, uh, I must admit, it's the first time I see them. You know, I'm not uh, pretending to be an expert on this, but uh, you know, just Three, from watching them two. play the first few shots, you can see they are. They can play the game. They uh, play good shots. They uh, follow up on the right things. They serve well. Um, they, they, that's a good pair we're talking about here. One. Yeah. And of course, the advantage of uh, left and right how they're playing together so often in doubles. It's, it really does seem to be a distinct advantage. Well, on a bit of spice. Yeah. Super Series event. They also did very well in Korea. Hamilton's first ever Premier Super Series event. First ever million dollar. Three, six. They had to qualify at the start of the week. They not only qualified, they went on to reach the quarter final. Only losing out to Wang Xiao Li and Yun Yang in the final. Current world number one. Four, six. That's pretty good. Yeah. I wasn't in Korea either. I go to Singapore next month. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but that's, that's quite impressive. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's a typical left hander. The way she's driving that one down the line, it's a very good shot. Can't be happy with that. Five, eight. Service over, nine, five. One. Yeah, good work. Service over, six, nine. Let's catch, go. Service over, nine, six. Let's welcome the athletes and technical officials up on the number two. So it's quite funny, I, I said that I, I don't know the two players from, from Hong Kong. You know, I'm really sort of going back in my mind here. And I think that the left-hander, she was actually playing in the, in the Junior World Championships in, um, in Mexico. Right. And she was really good for Hong Kong. She was yeah. a very good player in the team. International badminton players that have come through those World Junior Championships and the first experience of the uh, stardom, as it were, gone to achieve great things. The list of top players in the world, which is virtual, the list of who's one of the World Junior Champions. Yes. Well, it's, it's such a good invention. It's, uh, it's actually amazing that uh, it hasn't been there for years and years and years. It's quite new, the, the World Juniors. What yeah. How old is it? Like 20 years old, 30, 15, 20 six. years old? Uh, yeah, I certainly know that Big Dan and Bounce uh, Live. Peter Gay played one of the first in, in the early 90s. That's right, 1941 They won the men's doubles, yes. Yeah. Peter Nissen. Peter Nissen, yes, and Peter Gade. Yeah. 
but that's before it was called the World Junior Championships, but that's what it was in essence. There yeah, that's, that's exciting. It's just borderline. I don't know yeah. if it was one of the first official ones or not. Yeah. But I can tell you now, I've worked with the, the juniors in Denmark, the under-19s, and it's responsible for that. And it, it means such a big difference to these young players. They have a goal. They have something to play for. Yeah. And I'm telling you, they work there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, to um, you know, really try to get on these trips and play such a prestigious tournament because they don't know if they're ever going to make it into the seniors, but at least they have this junior championship to, to work for, and it gives a, a great incentive. Yes, it's a big step up from our day when, of course, we had European Junior Championships, and that was sort of the ultimate that we could aim for as, exactly. as juniors. I mean, to suddenly be able to uh, go to far-flung countries in the world and play against all the world's best junior players is... I, I totally agree. Yeah. It's just, it, it must be fantastic for them. Yeah. Sabi Solo, 7-17. Eight straight points. Eight Eighteen eight. Yeah, really, the decision at the back eight. of the court there as to whether she should be playing the shuttle or not. Yeah. So she decided to play it. Yeah, I, I must say the, the Hong Kong pair is in total control. Yeah. Yeah. 21-8. First game won by Hong Kong China, 21-8. Well, there's no doubt that seeing Suet really does have lovely racket skills, the left hand up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not only lovely, it's fast. It's yeah. really fast if you notice how crisp she's hitting it. Such a clear sign of who won the first set. Yeah, the who was waiting for who? Yeah, the Hong Kong <laughs> players were already back out on court. And the other one is fighting for a strategy. Yeah. So what do you, as a coach, Morton, say to uh, young players that were clearly, in all fairness, outclassed in that opening game? I, I know you've got to say something positive do you get them to focus on just one thing and say look you know don't worry about the results all i'm after Second is game. i want to see you find this within the game or, or how you, do you approach it yeah you can you can either choose that say uh, you know i we we keep working at what we're usually working at and you know have to improve on that and, and see if we can be successful now and again and on, on a few shots and tactics and so on or you say you know, we, we have to try to go in and, and, and play a more competitive game. And, and if they choose the last one, which I possibly would do, so I would say every, every point is a victory and have a smile on my face. Yeah. And then secondly, I would say, you know, I think we play against the drift now. We have to chase them at the back. We have to get to move them when we lift. 
so they're never standing still when they're, when they're having to, to hit and attack us. And, and I would say a lot of cross-court lifting because then the one who is in balance for sure is getting this great one. Two, one. I think the Polish girl have to move now. Come on, come on. You know, she knows it's a short one, and if it's not getting killed at the net, it will be a drop shot. So move forward in, in, the, in the chance of the drop shot is playing. Not standing still. You must never, never stand still. Is that something that can be taught, that you say to the player, right, every time you see that situation, or is it something that's got to be more instinctive, that's learned through experience? I think the latter. It's, yeah. it's very difficult to, to learn. Oh. If you haven't got it, if you can't see it, it's yeah. difficult to learn. Yeah. But as a coach, you have to encourage it at any given time. You ha really have to push the players so to sure. get that understanding. Four, three. Good return. And the thing is, again, I, I would possibly say, don't attack. Every time uh, the Polish pair is attacking, uh, counter-attacking is coming into place, and then they get sort of the short end of the stick every time. So, play them to the baseline, work them at the baseline, get them away from all the flat, get them away from the nets, let them work from the back and see what happens. But that's obviously having a, a result-orientated point of view. Well read. Move up. Yeah. So we saw seven all. That's good to see. Oh, it's coming over. Nine, seven. Eight, yeah, but it, again, it actually proved the point, you know. If they can give away the initiative in order to take it again so on the counter-attack, there are eight. better chances. I know it was a, a bit of a lucky shot, but the principle, again, was yeah. pretty good. I'm just clear. Just get it away. Clear. The left. So, so, nine, ten.
So we saw one, 11 9 into 1. Two point mm. advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah, it was a good rally. It was well played. I think the Polish girl got a little bit uh, <coughs> discouraged, but I think they played a very good rally and it was uh, what they, they have to look for. What, what they did here, I think it, it was really good. Yeah. It's hard work, but I'm sure they, they don't mind. And they're certainly in this second Ania game. Ania z góry, tamta bierze z dołu siatki, a ty do lotki nie robi. Musi być tak nisko na nogach, tak nastawione, że masz dojść do tego skoku, żeby nie szybciej. Te nogi za całe i za wolno pracują. It's always difficult when you've already played one match one within one the tie. You've already lost yeah. in the tie. Pick, the again. Pick yourself up again so quickly. Only one match break before she's back on court. But I would say, though, on the other hand, uh, she could never have expected to win in, in the singles. So, you know, it, it, it's the worst feeling you can have as a human being, I think, in many ways, is that... Um, Disappointed expectations. Yeah. And uh, the ladies think she couldn't really have so many uh, d uh, expectations. So maybe, you know, the feeling is not so bad. And okay, just another opportunity to get on court and, and play some good badminton. Yeah. Oh, that is a wonderful shot. 12 nine. So that's where the pressure comes. Yeah. 13, 9. Oh, that's oh. good. Very, very well, good. Shot of the match so far. 13. Anyone in the world would be happy for that shot. Yeah. Yeah, a fair amount of power with that backhand yes, well, what is it you normally say? Put away with venom. Venom. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I actually thought about it. <laughs> because as you said, it's, it, it was really powerful. Yeah. There was lots of so power into that shot. 11-14. Sabisova, 15, 11. Yeah, good movement too. 16, yeah. 11. Well to get around that one. Yeah. One. 17, Again, what we've 11. seen so many times is an effective uh, place to play on the forehand side of the body. Another one. 18, 11. Marching towards their goal now, the Hong Kong combination. Ball. 19, 11. Always landed on the line. 20, match point, 11. Nine match points. Should have taken it. She hesitated well, and then the partner sort of, okay, I'll have it. But it was too late. Ah, oh, she was going for the same smash again. 13, 20. Game. This time. in the women's doubles, two straight games, 21-8, 21-13. Met one by Hong Kong, China, 21-8, 21-13.
Thank you. Yes, well, this Hong Kong pair is a pair I'm sure we'll see an awful lot more of huge amount of talent. And showing that in recent tournament play. Shown it again here today. Their confirmation for the score. Just 20 minutes for that encounter.